Welcome back. Your time now is 651 and stuffed salmon sounds like an elegant dish and one that would definitely impress your guests. It's a rich Philly meal that you could serve with maybe some roasted potatoes or fresh green beans. Chef Becky shows us the recipe in this week's In the Kitchen. In the Kitchen. It's time for another edition of In the Kitchen. A stuffed fish recipe sounds very elegant, but I have to admit I've never tried to do that at home. Hi everyone, I'm Chef Becky, and today I have an amazing recipe I'm going to share with you. It's salmon stuffed with basil and two cheeses. Now I have to admit that when we come over to shoot this uh, episode, I looked at the ingredients you had laid out, I tried to figure out what we were making, and I just saw the cream cheese and the lemon, so I wasn't quite sure where we were going with this. Well, I'm also going to add some Parmesan cheese. Here I have eight ounces of cream cheese that's softened, two tablespoons of flat Italian parsley that I've minced, one quarter cup of fresh basil that's finely chopped, and two tablespoons of green onion that's finely chopped. Here I have about four lemons that I've sliced thinly and I picked the seeds out. And here I have a nice two pound filet of salmon. Let's go through what we need to do as far as the stuffing is concerned. Okay, I'm going to add the Parmesan cheese, Italian parsley, fresh basil, you can never have too much of that. Mm and the green onion, and I'm going to mix it up. Now for this next stage, you're gonna need some good knife skills and actually a good sharp knife. Yeah. So right now, I'm cutting the salmon into equal portions, about five or six ounces each. So I'm making a small, shallow cut about half an inch deep, this direction, and now I'm going to very carefully cut the salmon to open up the little pocket. So you can see we have flaps that open up. So the tail is a little too thin to butterfly, so what I'm going to do is just put some filling right here on the very end and then fold, fold it over like that. So now I'm going to use spatulas and divide the filling evenly between the fillets. Now it's time to close up the salmon. So it looks nice just like that. So we have our salmon arranged on our uh, parchment paper. What comes next? Next step is generous salt and pepper. Ah, okay, I can think I can handle that. How peppery do you like it? I like it pretty peppery. Okay. So we didn't add any to the filling. Oh, that's true. Okay, so we have our fish seasoned. Now it's time for the lemon, correct? That's right, this is the last step before they go in the oven. It'll Release some juice as it's baking. Give it a nice. really nice flavor. So our fish is going into the oven right now. It's at 375, and it will bake for 18 to 20 minutes, depending on the thickness of your fish. So 18 minutes have passed, and it's time to check the fish. So you can see it's flaking easily with a fork, and that means it's finished. So we have our stuffed salmon nicely plated. What are some good things to serve with this? I like to serve it with fresh asparagus or some roasted red potatoes. Mm, or maybe even some green beans, possibly? Oh, that would be delicious. Maybe some fresh green beans, that would be delicious. Well, if you want the recipe for this, of course, Chef Becky will put that on her Facebook page and we'll put it on our website at NBC16.com. That's going to do it for another edition of In the Kitchen. And if you watched that segment closely, you noticed who did all the cutting and uh, I just did the seasoning.